today we will see how we can create a github action to push the docker images into docker hub automatically so let's say i have a node.js project here and i already have a docker file so every time my code updates what i need to do is i need to build the docker image and push it to docker hub manually but i don't want to do that so what i want to do is whenever i push any changes to the master branch it will automatically trigger a github action which will log into docker hub build the docker image and push it to docker hub okay so let's see how we can do this first go to your docker hub this is my docker hub uh, dashboard first create a new repository give this repository a name let's say i give this repository the same name as my github repository I think there is a space yeah right created so now you have your own repository then go to your project go to the settings tab github projects settings tab then you go to the secrets inside actions and create a new repository secret give this a name as docker username my username for docker hub is 56 so let's create this secret you will see that you have one secret called docker username and i will explain why we need this later first create those you will create another new secret called docker password so i will not give my uh, actual password here let's say this is my password you will give your password here and create the secret okay so it takes care of creating the secrets one is docker password and another is docker username now we will go to this actions tab and inside this action step you will create click on this here uh, set up a workflow yourself click here and it will show you a uh, template file we don't need any of this code i will provide you the link to this particular gist that i have created just copy paste all of the contents here and paste it inside your new action file okay so let's see what this action file is actually doing for us let me zoom in a little bit so it will trigger on every push on the master branch here is our trigger then it will run it will run on ubuntu it will use uh, action checkout so it's a standard thing to check out the codes or the contents of your repository then the first thing we do is we we'll log into docker hub and here you can see that we are using this docker username and docker password right because we need the docker username and password to log into docker hub and that's what we are doing here then we are building the image using this file be careful please change this particular name to your repository name so let's say we want to uh, name our docker image this particular thing right then with the na same name we created for our docker hub repository we'll just change it here yes looks good and also we have to change it here so what we basically did is we are building this image and then we are just pushing this image that's it but this time it will not work right uh, and you, you can just let me zoom out you can just start commit create the main dot yaml file I'll just keep it as it is and commit the new file so it will uh, if you go to your actions tab you will see that uh, this workflow is being run and every time you push uh, it will run for the first time uh, automatically but from in future whenever you push it will trigger this workflow but we already know that this particular thing will not work because we gave the incorrect username and password right but let me show you a repository where i have given the actual username and password and how it looks like so this is another repository i'll link it in the description as well i'll link both of these in the description and you will see that we can um we have a successful build what we did is we logged into docker hub and then we built the image and we pushed the image and let me see the name express typescript docker go to the repositories you can see here we have our last push at 17 minutes ago let me go into the repository and change something so this is my express typescript docker and uh, let's make a change Let's keep it simple as 
this and just push it to the github and whenever i push you will see a new action will get triggered yes you can see that i have just pushed here and the time is now and it's uh, showing us the commit message that i pushed with as well and it will now build the image log into docker hub build the image and push it to docker hub and if everything goes right here we can see that the last last push was 17 minutes ago but we should see a new push uh, or a new version of our image here within a short time whenever our action is successful so now what it is doing it's building the docker image and it has some caching capabilities as well so it should not take that much of a time and uh, yeah let's let's just wait for it to finish and now it's finished now it's pushing the updated docker image to our docker hub you can see it some of the layers already exists because i have pushed previously and uh, yeah everything is everything looks correct let's yeah so it's successful whenever you see the green check it means it's successful and let's go to docker hub so refresh it sorry for the slow internet speed and yeah you can see that we have our latest image which was pushed a few seconds ago so which means our push was successful and uh, yeah uh, that's what i wanted to show you it's very easy to set up github actions is also free for 2000 minutes i think so it will be calculated based on the time it runs you can see this particular action was run for one minute so out of the 2000 free minutes i have wasted or i have used one minute something like that so it's very powerful to automate a lot of your workflows and this is just one of the examples thank you so much and have a great day see you later